Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review The Gallows. So, The Gallows is basically about, you know, uh, in 1993, this play that this school, you know, held. Um, unfortunately, a kid accidentally hung himself. And now, you know, 20 years later, they decide they want to resurrect this play and do it again. And these kids want to go to the school late at night and destroy the set. But here's the thing. Some weird stuff starts happening. So, what I think of the gallows. 2015, what are you doing when it comes to your movies? You have been the worst year for film since 2008. I have been saying this over and over again because it is true. Because the gallows is garbage. This movie is horrendous. This is awful. The gallows is one big piece of monkey garbage it really is this movie is horrendously bad let's get into the positives there are no positives so let's go straight into the negatives because i have a whole bunch of negatives with this stinking movie so my negatives are the acting with this movie the acting is horrible I'll say this, the main dude, he wasn't the worst out of all of them. He was just very wooden, in my opinion. His acting was very wooden, like, he would have his confused face, like... And he, he did have his bad moments here and there, I will admit that, but... You know, it wasn't the worst out of all of them. His just his acting was very wooden, in my opinion. I think he could have done a lot better. You know, so yeah... But this one dude, the guy that's holding the camera for most for for a majority of the film, he's the most obnoxious character, the most annoying. I think I've seen a horror film in a very long time. I have to retrack on for all time, but as of late, this, I forgot his character's name. But you know what? I don't care because I'm just going to call him Jerk Face. Because he deserves to be called Jerk Face. This guy is horrendous in this movie. I couldn't stand him. I wanted him to die the second he came on screen. This guy is horrible. I couldn't stand him throughout this entire movie. I wanted him to just go away. I'm like, go away, Jerk Face. Really? I want him to. He is so bad in this movie. This is one of the worst performances I've seen this year. He is horrible in this movie. Oh, man. The one the woman that plays Pfeiffer in this movie, she wasn't good either. She was pretty bad in this movie as well. She makes like these whenever she does like facial expressions and just overacts all the time. Holy moly. It's just bad. Really, really bad. The girl that plays Jerkface's girlfriend, she was bad as well. She was not good. The second worst out of all of them. She was horrible in this movie. So atrocious. So bad. So yeah. You know, you know, it just looks like they got a bunch of Abercrombie and Fitch Miles to be in this movie. You know, there's this one scene where, you know, Jerkface is behind the camera and he's like, you know... Oh, look at all these ugly girls in the theater. Like, I'm like, I don't think they're ugly. Like, when they, um, it makes no sense. They just get a bunch of Abercrombie and Fitch models nowadays just to be in films. And you will probably won't see these actors ever again. So, yeah. The acting's bad. The story is so dumb. It makes no sense. The story, it makes no sense. Why would a school resurrect a play where a kid unfortunately hung himself and you're going to resurrect this play 20 years later? What school in the right minds would do that? None. Because it makes no sense. 
I can't believe I'm about to say this, but not since The Human Centipede 3 have I seen a movie make no absolute sense like this movie. I'm not saying it's worse than that movie, but it has, but it just makes no sense. There are two twists in this movie. I'm not gonna spoil them. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. They are, they are some of the wor worst twists I've seen in a very, very long time. You know, I, they're just some of the worst twists I, I've seen in a very long time. They're not the worst, like, this could be in top 10 worst twists of all time. It is horrible. Especially the one towards the end. You know, just, the story makes no sense. The writing is horrendous. It is so bad, the writing. One of the worst written films I've seen this year. It's so bad. The writing for the gallows is just horrendous. The directing... Oh, the directing is so bad. It's a found footage horror film. Yeah, what do you expect? You know, it, it just the directing is so bad with this film. It really is. It's just them shaking the camera all around. And it's bad. It really is. It's really, really bad. And it's just oh, one of the worst directed films of the year. And here's the thing, what's, the, what's a horror film supposed to do? Scare you. This movie's not scary. At all. After I watched this movie, I went to bed, you know, I slept like a baby. Because this movie was not scary. All it is, is just a bunch of loud noises and jump scares. The most cheap way to get a scare ever. Just, there's this one in particular. With jerk face. Now I just say that. That made me so mad that I wanted to throw the computer because it was so so cheap and so just blatant for a jump scare that it made me mad. You know, I know some people didn't like Unfriended, but at least you gotta admit, at least Unfriended had some tension. You know? Poltergeist, the remake! At least at least had something. You know, something at least. This has nothing in terms of scares. Nothing. The pacing is terrible. This is the most boring film I've seen this year. I was so bored. And this movie's only an hour and 17 minutes. And I was so bored while watching this. Guys, The Gallows is one of the worst movies of the year. You know, just one of the worst horror films I've seen in my life. Guys, it's time for my official grade on The Gallows. And my official grade on The Gallows... You know it's coming. It gets an F. An F, F, F. This is horrendously bad. This is horrible. Oh, man. I, I should stop before I lose my voice. This movie is horrendous. Do not see the gallows. It, you... This is one of the worst movies of the year. The gallows gets an F. It is horrible. Do not see this movie. Please. Please. So what did you guys think of The Gallows? Leave in the comment section below. And I'm WWE Fan 0599 And we'll see you all later. Peace.